Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling an important question for anyone looking to secure their data. Our viewer wants to know how to back up new files and folders added to Google Drive into AWS Glacier using a Linux instance on EC2. This is a great way to ensure your data is safe and accessible. Let's break down the challenge and explore the best solutions together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, let's get ready to try and work through to that resolution, and remember to just stay a little bit crazy, just like me. Now, let's continue on. To back up your Google Drive to AWS Glacier, we first need to set up our environment. Ensure you have the AWS CLI installed on your Linux EC2 instance. Next, configure the AWS CLI with your credentials. Run the command shown on the screen and follow the prompts to enter your access key, secret key, and default region. Now we need to install the Google Drive API client for Python. This will allow us to interact with your Google Drive files. Use pip to install the required package. After installing the client, create a Python script that will check for new files in your Google Drive and upload them to AWS Glacier. Here's a basic structure for your script. Finally, schedule your script to run at regular intervals using cron jobs. This will ensure that any new files added to Google Drive are automatically backed up to AWS Glacier. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To back up Google Drive to AWS Glacier, start by creating remotes for both Google Drive and Amazon S3 using our clone on an Ubuntu server. First, download our clone from the official website then transfer it to your server and extract the files. Next, SSH into your Ubuntu server, navigate to the R clone folder and copy the binary file to the appropriate directory. Install the man page for R clone and run the configuration command to set up your remotes. During configuration, select options as prompted, and when asked about auto configuration, choose no. Copy the verification link from your local browser, paste it into the terminal, and confirm the setup. Finally, create another remote for Amazon S3 and repeat the configuration process. For more details on our clone commands, check the official documentation. And that's it guys. I hope those questions and answers really helped solve that solution for you. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until your next technical video, I'll be here. Have a good one.